Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. I rise to thank everyone who attended last week's Great Ocean Road Summit in Lawn. Almost 100 people attended the Lawn Bowls Club to hear from key stakeholders such as the Great Ocean Road Regional Tourism Board and other wonderful organisations uh, like the Committee for Lawn, uh, the, Shire, the local shires, the Apollo Bay Chamber for Commerce. Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm incredibly proud that our government has led the way in delivering $100 million in partnership with the state to upgrade the iconic Great Ocean Road. I was out in the community hearing from local stakeholders, from tourism operators, from traders, from local residents about how we should spend this money. And we had some fantastic feedback, uh, very much focused on road danger spots, road safety, driver behaviour, erosion and improving basic tourism infrastructure. The need for better international driver education, an issue that I've raised with Victorian Roads Minister Luke Dunellen on many occasions and am yet to receive a satisfactory response. It is becoming an increasingly important issue. The poor state of the Great Ocean Road in some parts, such as in and around Mount Defiance between Lawn and Wye River, the need for better infrastructure at Skeens Creek and Wild Dog Creek, improved and more strategic signage and better vegetation clearance to enhance ocean views, better car parking, particularly for buses, the importance of a proper bypass around Anglesey, the need for toilet facilities. The, the lack of proper toilet facilities along the Great Ocean Road is a massive issue for our regional tourism industry. Our places like Kennet River, Wye River, Lawn, right the way through to Apollo Bay are suffering from a lack of investment and uh, that really resonated very, very positively. There was also a great suggestion to produce an app guide to assist people in different languages navigate our wonderful tourism icon. Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, the summit was so successful that I'm very pleased to announce we are holding another summit in Apollo Bay at the Bowls Club on Friday the 17th of March at 6 o'clock. This is a great opportunity for the people of Apollo Bay and Marengo, Lavers Hill, to come along and to express their views about the importance of this wonderful road. This is part of a $1.5 billion infrastructure investment package that the Turnbull government is delivering into Victoria. We are incredibly proud of what we are doing to invest in better roads, better rail, including, of course, the iconic Great Ocean Road. So I say to everyone in Apollo Bay and all around that part of the Great Ocean Road, please come along Friday the 17th of March at the Apollo Bay Bowls Club. Um, share your views because your voice matters. Order. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you, Member for Karangamai.